This morning, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is dealing with new allegations of political bullying. Don Zimmer, the Democratic mayor of Hoboken, claims a disagreement with Christie cost her city millions. The governor's spokesman calls her charges categorically false. Elaine Keanu is here. Elaine, good morning. Good morning to you, Charlie. Mayor Zimmer met with the U.S. attorney in Newark yesterday and turned over supporting documents. Her accusations hit directly at one of Governor Christie's signature issues, his response to Superstorm Sandy. They surfaced as Christie was crisscrossing Florida this weekend, raising money for Republican governors. Behind closed doors, Governor Chris Christie rubbed elbows with wealthy donors. Governor Christie, do you have a few seconds, sir? Governor. But he ducked questions from the press and was dogged by Democrats along the way. It's not every day that we have a governor visit Florida whose scandals burn so brightly they outshine even those of our own scandal plague Governor Rick Scott. Christie's latest headache came courtesy of Hoboken Mayor Don Zimmer, who accused Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano of threatening to withhold Sandy aid money unless she got behind a waterfront development backed by Christie. Sandy left much of Hoboken underwater. Zimmer had requested more than $100 million in state aid for her city, but only about 300000 was approved, she said, because she didn't back the real estate deal. Christie supporters dismissed Zimmer's attack as partisan politics, pointing out her tweets in the weeks after the storm, where she repeatedly thanked Christie for his help. Hoboken has already received nearly $70 million worth of funding for direct recovery and rebuilding efforts, his spokesman said in a statement. Hoboken has not been denied on a single grant application for recovery efforts under the current programs for which they are eligible. In a sign of how far Christie's star has fallen, Florida's embattled Republican Governor Rick Scott refused to be seen publicly with Christie this weekend. The trip was meant to give Christie a chance to flex his national political muscle as the new head of the Republican Governors Association. Charlie and Clarissa. Elaine, thank you so much.